Well, hello there. I'm the old growler. It's time for a beer. Every day about this time, I kick back, grab a can of beer, a bottle of beer, sometimes a wine or a spirit might drop by. I take the time to read the label. I check out all the artwork. I see what they're trying to sell us, and then I crack it open and see if it meets expectations. One star? Eh, for just showing up. Three stars? Eh, hits the mark. Five stars? It's the elixir of the gods. All right, what do we have here today? <coughs> uh. All right, what have we got here today? From the other half brewing company, the Double Citra Daydream, a triple dry hopped Imperial Oat Cream India Pale Ale. Wow, that is a mouthful. All right, what do they have to tell us? Uh, starts out over here. Uh, go, this is brewed by Other Half Brewing Company, 195 Center Street, Brooklyn, New York, 11231. And the government warning that according to the Surgeon General, I should not be a pregnant woman operating heavy machinery. No problem. I don't even drive a car. Okay, here we go. Brewed with citra, oats, and milk sugar. Alcohol by volume, 8.5. A hazy imperial oat cream IPA, triple dry hopped for Citra Week, and brewed with milk sugar and oats, highlighting a single hop variety Citra. Notes of candied lychee, orange sherbet, and tropical fruit. All right, well, they certainly gave us a playlist there. Milk sugar, oats, uh, candied lychee, orange sherbet, and tropical fruit. Now, that's Citra. Now, I've, whenever I've encountered a pure, just a, a one-hop citra, it has always said to me, uh, citra, as in citric, as in uh, lemon. And uh, that's the type of, of flavor that I'm expecting on this, but they're telling me something different. Well, hell, <laughs> if that's what they tell me, I'm not going to argue. Okay, let's crack it open and see if it meets those expectations. Also, being an... Uh, India Pale Ale, I'm expecting it to be a little hazy, but we'll see. Here we go. Yep. It's one of those hazy ones. Well, certainly looks like a New England India Pale Ale, that is for sure. And the lushness, it is, the, the hazy there, boy, I'm going to put the oats in on that one as well. And uh, let's see, it's an Imperial. Okay, so that's got the, a lot of uh, alcohol here. We've got 8.5. All right, well, it looks like an Imperial IPA. Let's see if it tastes like one. Cheers. Yes, I, I took two sips. It's around three in the afternoon. My taste buds are on siesta. I have to wake them up. So now they're woke. Let's take a nose dive. Wow, I'm getting a lot of honeysuckle, um, a little bit of rose. It's a, a very floral uh, uh, aroma on that. Uh, let's see what the taste buds agree with. That is a lush beer. Those oats are in there, boy. They've, they've had some body to this. Whoa. It's got a lot of body. It also, thank goodness, has a lot of hops. And as far as the, I'm getting some, some of the tropical bit, but I am getting that tang of lemon. I'll tell you, that's what I'm picking up. It, it is not a bad thing. And there's a depth to the hops as well, to the hop as well which uh, I you don't think you notice when they're combined. But this, the citra on this, the, the differences uh, are, are certainly amazing. Now, I have heard that uh, Cascade that is grown in Oregon, uh, and you use the Cascade that is grown in upstate New York, they almost have two different flavors. So it's very possible that where they got this particular hop from has a real signature to that hop from that particular area. So this really makes it an interesting beer. 
Does it meet expectations? It certainly does with the haziness. It certainly does with the hops, the layer of the bitterness and the combination of the body and the richness and a little bit of a burn going down. So does other half, double citra daydream, triple dry hopped, the imperial oat cream India pale ale meet expectations? It certainly does. How are we gonna rate it? It's certainly above a three, that is for sure. This is the, not quite the elixir of the gods, so I'm gonna give it a four and a half. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. A thumbs up would be great, share us with your friends, and a comment would be really appreciated. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler, looking forward to seeing you next time when it's time for a beer.